title of this video should be Help Me, My Love Letter is Wrinkled. <laughs> no, it shouldn't be. That's not, that's not a good title. I got this for $10. It had stripes. A flea market painted it over it. So now it looks like this expensive canvas is $10. We're gonna make wall art, $10. This week, I am blessed to be collaborating with some incredible channels. You've probably already heard of them, but if you have not, I'm gonna link to them at the end of this video and I want you to check them out. They're amazing. 1986, that's me. You can buy an inexpensive canvas or, or I'm repurposing this one right here. First thing you wanna to do to get a, a background color is just to put it on with any, any width of a knife. And if for texture, you wanna put it on different directions. We're not trying to apply it perfectly all in one direction. That way you get a lot of texture. Especially if you use a, a clay-based paint like this one from Debbie's Design Diary called DIY Paint. I put a second color over the top of the first one, which is called Petticoat Pink. I'm also using a, a narrower putty knife just for some variation. It really doesn't matter whatever you have. When Mike went to college, a year before me, because he was a year older, six months, I was convinced that he would of course, find a beautiful college girl and dump me. He's in college now. And then he said, I'm gonna write you every day. Okay, I start watching for uh, letters. So I'm waiting two days, three days, no letter, no letter. And so, and then he didn't call again either. And I thought, this is it, this is it, we're done. We've been dating uh, like two years. So I finally get a letter. If you have any stencils you wanna use, I'm gonna show you how to do a raised stencil, it's very simple. And uh, you can see here, I mean, you cut out uh, a heart shape out of cardboard. You can just trace it on the cardboard and use a utility knife. Uh, you can see here that I had a little trouble grasping that. We wanna make a hole with the shape so that we can fill it with texture, with plaster. So I use this stuff. You can do local hardware stores and things, the Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, those places. It's by DAP, it's lightweight spackling. I'm gonna drag it across this stencil. You see how easy this is? Depending on how sort of tall you want the texture to be, you can scrape it way off and just leave an outline when you take it off. I want it to be nice and thick and goopy. Well, you don't wanna go this way because it'll squish it up under there. So, I've got cardboard. If you wanna use a poster board and you don't want as much texture, And you want to go in the direction of the top of the stencil towards the center because if you go the opposite way it will squish it up under your thing and lose the shape. Raise your hand if you see a better way to do this. <laughs> oh look at that. Don't question yourself, just do it. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> the plaster or spackle stays soft for, for quite a while so you have time to clean it up or fix it. Hit it with my putty knife. Pull it back this way a little bit. Mm-hmm, I like it. It's kind of a raw heart, if you will. Look. Rolled out the dough. Now I'm gonna go just scrape this off. Yeah. <laughs> Looks cool. I'm gonna keep going like this. I'm gonna add more flowers. Oh, it's been five days, six days, a week, I don't know. No defense mechanism, like, fine. I'm, I'm not gonna, I can try to call him because he'll just be gone, he'll just be out. And then one day, I get a letter from him. And it says, I picked out one sheet of um, a love, love letter from Mike and used Mod Podge to attach it to the canvas. 
I did uh, two coats of that. Next, to seal the whole thing, I applied a big top, which is a, a liquid patina. It is able to seal the entire project, all of those elements, the spackle and the paint, the Mod Podge, all the things, uh, and it won't leave any brush strokes. It's, it's a fantastic. You can also use a clear wax. Uh, you just want to make sure that we seal that spackle because um, it could crumble and we want to be able to work with it. So clear wax or a liquid patina, a top coat, all will um, seal that. Here's the letter. It's the actual letter. See? He has writing like a girl. It's fine. It's better looking than mine. Come home from class, open my mailbox, it's empty. By the time you get this, you should have gotten three other letters from me this week. Sorry, honey, but I'm just gonna read this little part here. Love, Mike, your long lost boyfriend. Okay, I am the drama queen. He is laid back, easy going as they come. So this is hilarious. Forget that you promised to let me know if you decide to go out with someone else. Well, I'm thinking he's found someone else. I get that letter. I, I still remember this heart pounding because I was like, what? what? I was terrified, like he thinks I've dumped him. And what is, I never got a letter. Never got a letter, not one letter. I applied some dark and decrepit to the letter to make it look like it's aged. I'll have to link to that later. And while I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm gonna paint I'm gonna my flowers. Fancy farm girl, a little artist brush. And I'm just gonna brush it on the leaves. DIY paint is clay-based and water-based. I think I'll do one flower in Cowgirl Coral. So you guys can use any paint, any color, the acrylics. I would throw on some mermaid tail. That's a really nice turquoise. Kissing booth. Spray some water on here so that it'll go down into the texture we've created more easily. See that? Oh. He had never written, addressed on the envelope. He addressed it to himself, put my address in the return address place thing. Three times, three times. <laughs> uh, came back to him, he was like, what the? Oh. So that first week was a rough one, it was rough. And he wrote me a whole pile after that, once he got the address, address situation where it's supposed to be. Creates a really organic looking age to it. Dad, who said I can't think outside of the box? We have now been married 28 and a half years. What we've got going on here is I just took a cardboard heart. So you can cut out any old shape that you want, hearts, whatever, out of cardboard or poster board if you want thinner. And I just glued that sucker right there over part of the letter just to create another element of dimension. And then I'm just slathering the... I'm 
really not that creative. That means that if you don't think you're very creative, you can still do this. I'm just throwing stuff on there and seeing how it looks. I'm gonna leave these drips because I like them. I'm using a palette knife now. So I'm just gonna dip this palette knife in and I'm gonna touch up the places that I want it to be a little more petticoat pink. But look, we can add texture. See, again, the clay in there is gonna make it and I painted over those flowers. Okay, my favorite part, I'm applying Golden Ticket. I'm watering it down a little bit so that it provides sort of a, more of a shimmery effect over the, the whole piece. Um, and I did paint those flowers up there with it full strength. I just can't find the footage. So I'm putting it on and then you can spray it even more and let it drip a little bit. So you end up with that deliciousness right there. They still smell vaguely like Stetson. <laughs> As always, I know that your time is precious and I am honored that you spent any of it watching me. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy watching my videos. I would love to hear back from you in the comments if you did check out any of the links that I'm gonna be dropping down here to uh, the videos. You enjoy them all. I think there's eight of them, eight of my friends. They're incredible. So happy watching. You're welcome. Okay, I'm real. I'm like J-Lo, only not with the gorgeous skin and hair and body. Cinco. Doggy daycare. It's gonna be great. He wrote me a lot of them. He has one poem that he asks me not to repeat, which is unfortunate because it says, I hope you'll cherish them as a golfer does his glove because I'm sending them to you with all of my love.